Okay, welcome back to more Disco Elysium. Let's see. What do we have to do today? Take a look at our task list. Karaoke, booze. Find out who made the call. Badge. Open the apartment door. There's a greenhouse nearby. Who put the clothes in the trash? Read your ledger and name the case. Let's do that. Damage ledger interact. It's a ledger you found in the trash. A pitiful cabbage of white and yellow papers hanging from plastic board. Barely held together by a small clip. The sad display is made complete by the faint smell of your ur urinal cleaner. Anything else? There's a piece of toilet paper. Or is it cleaning tissue? No, it's toilet paper. Desperately sticking to the back of the blue plastic clipboard. For you. Thank you, waterlog ledger, for spelling it out for us. Inspect the toilet paper. It's just toilet paper. Take it off. Still wet, the toilet pill paper peels off easily. All you have to do now is shake your finger and voila. The, the ledger now looks marginally better. Inspect the clip. The aluminum block runs with the board, biting down on paperwork. It's crocodile teeth are the only thing keeping the papers together. A regular pencil, the tip worn down to nothing, has been attached to the clip. Run your fingers across the aluminum. The surface is interrupted by a silvery sticker. It's regular sparking, sparkling with iridescence. And you don't know how, but you didn't notice it before. <laughs> Looks like an official mark made to be low visibly low visibility outside the right circumstances. It's similar to the RCM watermark on your blazer the lieutenant mentioned. Didn't he say anything about the headlights of his motor carriage? You, that you can read those? Lieutenant, is this one of those hologram marks you mentioned? What? Yes, a halogen watermark used for adding information to RCM property. Interesting, what kind of information? Depends. Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and my address. The information varies by date of issue. Maybe yours will have how many cases you solved? How can I read it? Any capable light with the right lighting width will do. You mentioned the headlights. Yes, our CM vehicles have headlights tuned especially to reveal halogen wa watermarks. This means you can read watermarks if you just turn the lights on. Ah, thank you. Browse the white papers. Not exactly white, they're yellow. They're yellowed in patches by sunlight and alcohol, covered in dense blue handwriting. Ink escapes into the watermark watercolor patterns, reaching its tendrils across entire pages. The paper itself is checkered with faint red lines forming short paragraphs breakthrough imminent of socioeconomics um, I don't think I can remove thoughts can I oh I can't forget them I don't know if it costs something to forget them though um, once in a while this red stamp and exclaims case files commit to paper the case files themselves are are plenty. You count more than a hundred sodden, crumpled up, earmarked pages falling apart in your hands. They appear to be sufficiently organized and extremely dense, if mostly illegible. What is in there? What are they about? Work, strife, poverty, the Jamrock Quarter. These are handwritten logs of investigations dating back to January 51 this year. The exact number is hard to estimate due to missing pages and an odd naming convention. There are at least 20, maybe 30 cases undertaken not completed mind you it's the middle of march you've attempted two cases a week on average what do you mean is that all is that it the notebook is annual it says 51 on what remains of its cover a molten strap of cardboard Everything prior is must have belonged to a previous volume. In short, there was more. Two cases a week. A good case, Lieutenant. Huh? Two complex cases to, un to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it. Unless you start making mistakes. Two cases a week appear to have been my load. I'm not sure I completed them, though. 
too? That's a lot. Didn't mean to say you were making mistakes, by the way. It's just a presu That was presumptuous of me. Oh, I'm sure I made plenty of mistakes. That's okay. We all make mistakes. Like a fan of Grill's checkered... Like a, f like a fan of gr Gill's, the checkered paper dries in your hand. The handwriting is extremely dense, if mostly illegible. There was mention of a naming convention here. Yes, it appears you employ a, shall we say, robust yet literary system. Each investigation has a case number written on the margins. Yet still more tellingly, most are accompanied by a name. A title might say, say even. One that draws inspiration from Snoop Fiction and Vespertine Cop show staples. Oh my, and they're written in capital letters too. Yes, all caps. One is called The Next World Mural, and the other Square Bullet Hole Murders, and the other The Unsolvable Case. More? And there appears to be more lighthearted. The guys on a couch in an unexpected location, the murder at the hookah parlor, and even the rare article Collapsing Tenement. Murder features prominently throughout. It's going to take an effort to piece these case files together, but it can be done later once you've done expecting them close up. Can my cases appear to employ some kind of naming convention? You mean alphanumeric officer? President time time arrival? No, I mean a non numeric one with titles. Oh. You mean the titler? Yes, well, so do I. In defense of almost everyone in R RCM does. Why is that? It's a holdover from early days of RCM, right after the revolution when the organization had a, had a little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work amongst themselves. I seem to have a case called the Square Bullet Hole Murders. Again, in your defense, I have one named. I seem to have... Again, in your defense, I seem to have named that one. He peeks into his notes. The man with a hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. I still, still, I named that to amuse myself. I pray, I pray his loved ones never find out what happened to him. Rail spikes to the head and he died. His workplace accident. Count the pages. I have to open an official case. Is there room? There is. For precisely one more, 15 pages near the end remain untouched by the damage. The checked grid forms structure, a structure of passages, breaking the case into subtasks to accomplish. All the tasks are accomplished. Once all the tasks are accomplished, the case is complete. Commit to paper. The tasks you have completed flow out to the kind of green ape pen in a brash freehand similar to the rest of the letters. The wording comes easily. It's almost robotically simple. A language developed from, from the, for, middle, for the mental rigor and simplicity. Inspect the victim's body. Get the body down. Interview the cafeteria manager. It's not exactly poetry, but poetry will be out of place. Cross out the ones you've already finished. Very satisfying slash sounds across paper. You're done, seems to say. And you, and you. Right. You're a swashbuckler, that pen, Harry. It feels good. It feels like accomplishment. Like completion. Things to be done, things already done. Like the composition of reality. This is an extremely useful tool for a detective of the citizen militia. Now all that remains is name the case. Lieutenant, by any chance have you named our case? No, actually. Any ideas? The Furies are at home in the mirror. The Hanged Man. Shit on a stick. Great. I think that's great. That's actually what I was thinking too. The Hanged Man. Good, strong name. We have a very good name for our case now. Level up. He flips a page of his notebook. I'm going to start calling it the hangman. Good, we sorted it out. I'm done inspecting the case files. You don't exactly close them as much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. Uh, can I read? Kim explain this. Plus one for Kim explaining the system. Plus one for finished autopsy. Plus two for isohedral dice set sirens. I don't remember that. Oh, that was from the uh, the lady giving us a dice set. Can I read the case files now? Yes, you can piece them together using the alphabetic code on the margin. 
It always begins with HDB41 and the date of initialization, time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. Example would be blah blah blah, the next world mural. Wait, HBD or officer precedent? Yes, that would be off uh, precinct number 41, HBD. Every last alphanumeric file begins with it. These are your case files. It's safe to say HB, HDB are your initials. Harry Dubois. The next world mural. This one's relatively easy to reconstruct. Overnight on 1202, a graffiti -o named mural appears on the eight-story tenement overlooking Central Jamrock. The building is sparsely inhabited ghost tower, a part of a failed real estate development called the Grand Curon. Cause of failure, rent too high. The mural is enormous. Two silhouettes, a man and a woman, are kissing. The text cut. The text cut into their forms reads, True love is possible only in the next world for new people. It is too late for us. Wreak havoc on the middle class. People call it that thing or that fucking thing. It's visible for miles. In two days, the station's complaint desk gets clogged with a request to remove the bummer. You and your partner get assigned to the case. The graffiti oak crew is easy to track down. Only the bell... Sorry. Only the bell letters have the literage of industrial paint to cover their surface. One of the graffiti artists is rumored to be rich. They take responsibility for the execution, but not the design. The ideologue of the next world mural, as the crew calls it, remains unknown. Wait, do I ever find out who came up with it? The case files not show you finding out the author design. Read on. The crew agrees to clean up after themselves. However, your partner, JV, is against the removal, citing public support for the conservation. This leads to debate in Precinct 41, which spreads the streets of Jamrock, ending in the rare plebiscite organized by you and the rest of Row 3. 9,000 people are subjugated to the, mural, the mur mural's message. All of the lakeside, Central Jamrock, Villa Lobas, and half of the eminent domain participate in the vote. Although the case begins to with what appears to be a lot of rumbling in the streets of just how juvenile and stupid the mural is, given the choice between the two options. Keep the mural, it is right. A staggering 78% of the vote chose to keep it. Turns out the opposition were a loud minority. And love is truly possible in the next world for a few people. And for us it is too late. Hmm. All that remains is to wreak havoc on the middle class and middle class. Not to be blamed. Hmm. It's human nature. Did anyone ask what you believe in? Man with a spelly toilet ledger. What we do next? Tackle next or are we done? I wonder if you can choose different options. Move the mule is, is working. Just to keep it. The unsolvable case. <coughs> AKA Leslie Burke. AKA the public indecency drunk and property damage drunk is a cursed case. And passed from unsuspecting officer to unsuspecting officer for over 10 years. Hmm. The public indecency drunk. On January 29th, the unsolvable case made its way to you. Why you accept it is unclear. Every officer, and indeed most civilians in Jamrock, know it's unsolvable. Leslie will always take his pants off, and when he's. When when he's drunk, and Burke will always trash everything. 
It's just what they do. It's their nature. You cannot change the nature of a man, and you cannot lock them away because public indecency and small-scale property damage is not punishable by incarceration. The only way for Leslie to stop flashing his genitals to passers-by and for Burke to stop dismantling signage, 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 and his rear-view mirrors would be for them to stop drinking alcohol, in which... Which in their 40s or 50s is hard to tell because of their sort of features, and it's, a medi and it's medically improbable on par with you ceasing to produce the expression. Can we just keep them off the streets? You would think that, but you're wrong. Where's the fun in exposing your genitals or breaking, breaking stuff in your own home? No, Leslie and Burke are on the corner of Main Street and Perdition. That's because where the action is. Can you keep yourself off the streets? Proceed. Threatening fines, drag them to the station, lock them in the hell holes they live in, lock them up in the station. Hypnotherapy, even try a local gang of Zimalikas to take them out. They gave them ethanol so Burke and Leslie would, would expose and rampage even harder. He tried it all. Still, the complaints wouldn't stop. They had, and they hadn't stopped for ten years. It's plain to see from the files. That you, Satellite Officer JV, and a special consultation TH had more important cases to attend to. You uncover cross references to several ongoing investigations, each brought up a standstill to every time you drive down Main Street, because there they are, on the corner of Perdition. And what is Leslie doing? Uh, he's doing. He's doing, uh. Public indecency. Good, you're learning. If the files to be trusted, that's all there was to it. And that Burke was breaking things, and the fact they're both drunk. But then again, so are you. The cases become considerably less comic at one day, when Burke takes a swing at your ledger. He must have confused it with property he likes to damage. But the joke's on him. You're you're drunk out of your mind on potent Pleinsner. You slam the hardened plastic board in his face, then you proceed to beat him unconscious with it. In the process, the ledger sustains damage. The compartment within reserve for permeal doc documents is jammed shut. You stop your assault on the now unconscious Burke to open it, but you're unable to do so. The officer begins to cry, reports Leslie, who at this point is tending to Burke. He came at us and at us, and I think he was trying to kill Burko. While trying to kill Burko, you slowly come around. The permeals, permeables compartment is open. You've smashed it open on poor Burke. Burko's kneecaps. The good news is Burko can't walk anymore. Can't get out of his apartment. An invalid. With Burko to tend to, Leslie cuts back on his indecent exposure. Maybe he flashes generals to Burke. Who knows? But both drunks are off the street. The complaints stop. The unsolvable case is solved. Which is why the responsible offer escapes, escapes a disciplinary hearing. The end. <laughs> Jeez. Do you want to read more? Three more. Man, these there's a shit ton of text in this game. Square bullet hole murders. It'd be a very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean there seems to be a square bullet hole entry in the victim's forehole forehead. She's been sitting there over th been sitting there for the weeks. On her rocking chair with a square bullet hole in her skull, staring at the wall, her mouth agape. But that's all you got from half an hour you spent piecing it together. All you know is the entry wound was square shaped. You never found the bullet, and another body showed up with a square bullet hole in his forehead. A sequence killer? Who knows? Those pages are missing. What next? The couch at an unexpected location. This is another one that's almost complete, huh? Yeah, I guess it doesn't complete till I exit this. Some assholes are brought on their couch outside and hung. Some assholes brought their couch outside and hung out on it. <laughs> in the middle of the street, on the roof, on the hillside, and the mo and the motorway. You know, at an unexpected location. They were young and they they thought it, thought they looked cool on it. They actually looked like assholes and several dicks. Young people were the worst. So anyway, you got a complaint that, about the damn sofa or couch or whatever it was. They were leaving it out in all these damn unexpected whimsical locations they took it to. Where they all stuck photos of themselves on it. And smoked cigarettes and drank coffee because they felt intellectual. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, do couch. And you had to clean it all up. And you did. So congratulations to you. Case solved. You ever catch those guys? No, you didn't have time for that. These notes are... are 
to show that what is called a damn good job. You didn't have time to be chasing down the couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What's next? Murder the hookah parlor. Murder. Tam 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 at the hookah parlor. What was a case originally signed to Officer Joseph Mills, who is now dead, of circumstance completely unconnected to this case. Wait, how? Beaten to death by a thong throng of Villa Biloba's gang members when him and his partner JM whose initials mentioned answered what call one night it's a sad story and it really isn't representing your case files stop stalling and get to the murder of the hookah parlor right on with the murder <sighs> Joseph Mills was on the case that he couldn't solve he was doing it solo said he was a real nutcracker a brain twister was on for like a month Captain Mills got impatient shit or get off the pot Mills Mills didn't get off the pot, not yet. He kept at it for a couple weeks or more, racking his brains, running every theory out. Lanages, it seemed they couldn't solve the murder at the hookah parlor. Tough case, he said. Toughest they've ever had. Wait, was Joseph Mills a good cop? No, he was awful. Awful sense of humor, too. Worst jokes you've ever had, heard. Real rapey. Still, he'd been on it for months now. Said it was the final case. Said it was on crap and coal. The murder vanished into thin air. Goddamn hookup parlor is all he talked about okay so the case is handed to you because Mills isn't getting anywhere and you look into it here's the setup a young man is found dead at the hookup parlor you know the places where you go and smoke bubblegum flavored vapor all day can you get high off of it? No, it's soot and water vapor. It doesn't do anything. No, it's stupid. Yeah, so anyway, young man in his 20s found with a skull busted open right there on the floor of the hookah parlor in the middle of the day. No one else is there. Only a client of the dead day. Perfect health, too. Some kind of mover producer. No one enters, no one exits. He's just sucking on his watermelon hookah all morning and noon, all noon. Like he usually does. He's a regular. No one calls, nothing. Just sucking on the hookah until 5... 1545 then bam he's dead on the floor with his brain busted open blood everywhere what happened how can it be mills has an idea invisible assassin movie deal gone sour girl at the counter did it nothing fits eerie man just dropped dead so you go to the parlor you see the cushions of the table round tables low heavy real sharp edge he sucked the hookah stood up passed out hit his head on the table and died see you can't even read a thing without solving it yeah it was that turns out hookah does does do something it turns your brain into Turns off your brain's oxygen supply, and you don't notice it till you get up to go to the bathroom. And what was he doing there for six hours? Smoking hookah, didn't you hear? I don't know. Trying to come up with a movie script, maybe? Anyway, that was the murderer at hookah parlor. Joseph Mills wasn't a good detective. About 30 minutes, and then about 30 minutes had... And about 30 minutes has piecing it together. Next... Put those case files away. Browse case files again. Done expecting those. Read a case file. Done. Browse the yellow pages. In the back you see thin trans translucent copier paper. Some neon yellow, some bright red, all covered in boxes like marching armies. Look like official forms waiting to be filled out. Then rip them from the binder and hand them out. According to the type of form. What kind of forms are there? Three, they are topmost misconduct files. The middle ones are station calls, and the bottom ones are field autopsy forms. Easy enough to make sense of. Don't have to be an intellectual dying to do police work. Misconduct fine. A monetary penalization ranging from 20 to 250 real. Severe cases allow for 1,000 real, but that requires special paperwork. The details issuing these fines are spread out over the rest of the fields. They appear to be pleasantly vague. Station call, these are are quite sinister in tone. They give you a date and time of information that appear to specific specified police precinct below the call. Criminal charges risk by not appearing. Um, all of this in print is so small it could be considered downright cute. Field autopsy. Dozen of pages of thin. See parameters to assume when running to be filled in. Blah, blah, blah. I already did one of those. All right, all this remains now is to fill in these forms and hand them to people, fines for wrongdoers, interviews for questions Interview requests for bad guys and feels autopsies for dead guys.
endurance. What delicious power hides within these pathetic nests? You feel better. Look at the clipboard. It's made of dark blue, hard plastic, enough to beat someone's submission with. The edges are rounded, however, the youth four sized. Board feels thick and heavy in your hand. A light shim shimmers on sweat surface in the back. You see embossed letters RCM. Oops. Shake the ledger. Something rails inside ever so lightly. Was there a hidden compartment? Something inside? Light made of paper or cardboard? Dried flowers, perhaps? Permeables. Not hidden, per se. The carpet is made of permeable material that would get damaged if something happened to it. Peer inside. Um, the plastic shimmers like Lapalooza. Did not see through. You cannot see to its center. How would I open it? With your hands? <laughs> Crack it on the knee like, like Burke. Hmm, the two sides of the board appear slightly malaligned, like a drawer is coming off the sides. If you bend the plastic to your knees slowly, the slides snap back into place, should be possible, you know. Slide the drawer open without resistance or sound. The two panels move against each other, corporate's not open, what's inside? Two stick of tubs and a handmade postcard. Pick up the stick of tubs. Ticket stubs. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles toward each other in the in the colored pencil drawings, ticket permit requires access, permits access to zoo in the Revishall East. The aquarium costs extra. These are there to let you go. Pick up the card. Thin wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. Sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, flower patterns. Smell it first. It smells like chewing gum. Touch of cinnamon. Open it. Familiar handwriting lines to the card. Looped round letters. A woman's hand. A young woman in her 20s. There is care, effort, and a smile, you think. Although it is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins. I have wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will make you happy. Throw it away, please. But it will make me happy. A merciful wind blows and in the bay in the in the bay of Remishal, dusting the ground at your feet and rising newspapers far away. You feel the card slipping into it. Hold on to it, read the card. Your hand still your hands shake holding on to it. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, I find a little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step I take it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station it's filled me entirely. I step on the little on the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bar bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon until you get off the forty nine. Walk back to you. Keep reading. You, you, every step I take I get lighter. All it makes makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. I you have a vast, vast soul, and I will always, always, always come back to it. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air being sucked out of your lungs. Blood blood sucked out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. Sparks fall like snow from the bow collector. Streetcar distancing. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. Oh no, 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 hold on. Hold on. To what? There's nothing. Detective is everything all white. Fall sideways. <laughs> what did you do? Pass out from, from the letter? It's weird. Disco Elysium. I didn't die, did I? There is nothing again. Nothing said, brother. No treachery. Just blackout. Just lie there, passed well, out. Almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Who's that? That's me. Blue eyes. That's me. And who is that? Who is what? He speaks of the sickening longing, the unwell emotion. Even in the darkness, he's grasping for it. 
still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow, because it's always there. Tell him, tell him. Ah, yes, and in the old factory system, they call it the apricot chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so, but as they say, what do you do? Smelled so nice. It smell nice. It smelled like betrayal. Was the X something the Bloated though? corpse of the past resurfacing. No, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape. Its lack of beauty was not the problem. Where is Voyager there Road? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on. Pause. I Your never... name is Fuck All. It certainly ain't Harry. Your name is passed out on the ground, dragged around by one of the other evil apes. They're taking you somewhere. <laughs> There's something about a bow collector. Yeah, man. What was that about? Just lie there motionless. You think they would let you until you disintegrate into biomolecules? No. Someone is breathing <laughs> on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. What is that? It's called. Yes, they're pouring something on you. Something in you. And it's... It's delicious. The glowing lights on the dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Where am I? An upholstered cabin of lieutenants. Carriage motor carriage seating in the driver basket. The air is thick with leatherworks and heavy cold water runs down your chin. Drink water. The tin is extending a small canister to your mouth. Drink. The water is cold, silvery, the stuff of life itself. Pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes, the darkness passes. Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive an alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. Actually, beer and cider have loads of water in them. You know, I'm actually more of a magnesium-based life form now. That's just a drug. That's just a drug addict myth. In reality, you're still comprised of dihydrogen oxide, which you must replenish to go on living. Do you know, in the franco condrian centuries, the quality of water was so bad it's sometimes more hygienic to drink beer. But these are not those centuries. We are in the present. It's safe to drink water here. Drink. With greedy gulps, you down half a liter of cold water. Some of it spills in the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? I should ask you the same. You were reading paperwork and you passed out. I carried you to here to take you to the hospital. And you came too. How long was I out? Ten minutes, maybe. I came in contact. I came in contact with burnt-out ruins of the past, Lieutenant. Sometimes happens. He, he hands you the remains of your ledger. He replies with such understanding, if, as if the life burnt out of the ruins of the past were an occupational hazard. Athletes foot for cops. You drop this. Okay, to proceed. Let's solve this case. Good. The of failure and hatred as a special item can be used both as interactable and tool equipped in your hand for skill bonuses. Find it in the bloody blah. <laughs> failure of legend and hatred. Minus to authority. Inland Empire and Empathy. Hmm. But minus two authority. It's weird that it gives you less authority. I already have zero authority, so maybe it's a fine to... Oh, my authority is like negative one now. That's funny. And then 
Roman Empire. All right. Interact. All right, let's save it because I got a bunch of shit going on. Mazovian socio-economic stock complete. Zero percent of communism has been built. An evil child murdering billionaire still rule the world with sh a shit-eating grin. All he has managed to do to make himself sad. He is starting to suspect Krasmovna's fucked him over personally with his social economic theory. It has, however, made him into a very, very smart boy with something in the like, like a university degree in truth. Instead of building communism, he, <coughs> he now builds a precise model of this grotesque, duplicitous world. Left wing dialogue options give plus four XP, minus one visual calculus, minus one authority. Downtrodden Invra Communism. Rigorous self critique. Here it is, hard facts and the man you you are. You once jerked off in the locker room and were caught. You held a young woman by the arm and kept her in your apartment for twenty minutes against her will. That's right, these are not flights of fancy. They are real deeds, Harry. Emerging from the darkness of your past. You always tried shooting a fleeting you tried shooting a fleeing suspect in the foot, but hit him in the pelvis, crippling him for life. Above all, you let life defeat you. All the gifts your parents gave you, all the love and patience of your friends, you drowned them. You drowned in a neurotoxin. You let misery win. And it will keep winning till you die or overcome it. Int and psych red failures heal plus one morale. These other failures heal. Plus one health. Learning cap for pain threat threshold raised to six. Alright. White mooring. Right, white mourning. See yourself from above. You pass down the blue tiles of a hostile room. Even from this distance, you can see your eyelids flutter at the mention of what? A great white object. Letting out its sweet smell like Lady of the Valley. Like Lily of the Valley. The title... The little man's forgotten its name, but he still remembers the feeling. And look, he moves. A feeling animates him. He indistinctly reaches out for his feeling's best friend. A bottle of Comrade Red. He puts on his disco clothes and gets smaller and smaller. Bow collector. Sparks fall like snow from the bow collector streetcar number 42. Slowly down the slope of the Voyager Road, then east on B206 across the river where there are no closed factory factories or ruins to study. At the alchemy, electric cables run overhead and the and the bow collector draws across them like a musical instrument to flash. She's standing at the rear window, holding onto the rail in a spring coat, waving at you. Weird. Alright. Well, I got some more thoughts I'll have to think about. Which to unlock. Maybe I'll look some of these up. See how good they are. What's this shit here? Corpus Crina. No time for this. Gotta run. Let's do the flashlight thing real quick. How do I turn on the headlights? He turns the preheater on, waits, takes out his keys, and says, Alright, ready. I right, turn, you press start next to the preheater. Press start. Dashboard lights up with orange glow. Round, rounds per minute, gauges jump, and the engine comes to life with a whiny glow. Like a leopard waking from its sleep, yawing and roaring at the same time. Press the button labeled headlights. Lights unfold a little click, casting electrical light in the, gr electrical light in the ground. There you go, I'll turn them off 
from the remote from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. As you hold your ledger's clip under the lamp, the iridescent hologram appears. A street grid, the veins of a street in the river. A familiar station wash over you. There she is, River Shaw West. There's a note of pride in an intense voice. Around the borders of the watermark are dozens, no hundreds of micro perforations. Look at the shimmering street grid. The rectangular watermark is overlaid with the logo of RCM, yet major arteries of Arvishol are all recognizable. They shimmer in there. Kenamine's headlights. Wait, look around you. A rat brazenly darts past you and disappears amongst the stopped lorries. In the distance, a child somewhere shrieks. A woman reprimands her in a voice no quieter than a sh curled shy. Ah, Martinez. He smells. Where are we on this? Let me see. He takes out the ledger and inspects it. Right here. His finger points to the top of the map on a segment of the coast jutting out from the great ocean. Seems nice. No, it does not. <laughs> Look at the perforations. There are many of them. They are divided into three separate rows. Tally up the different rows. First dot has 18 dots. Not bad. Not bad for what? You don't even know what that means. Next one. <laughs> Next one's the longest. It runs all the way around the border and then some. Count them individually. You count uh, 216 perforations. Consider... Considering that nice large number of wave of pride washes over you, you can't see why precisely. What about the last row? Last row is three. Three, that's it. That's it. What do all these holes mean? They're perforations. They represent your record as an office in RCM. Your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you keep a record. Officers do. Let's take a look. Alpha male officers who are a part of the numbers I have to do. It's meant. First row represents your years of service. 18 years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Wait, 18 years I've done this? That's what it says. Might have guessed even longer based on your age. What did you do all those years? Blissful years in your youth. <laughs> I was a hobo. I lived under a boat. You know, the RCM is a volunteer organization. We would leave no qualms of vagrants joining our ranks where they qualify. But let's move on, shall we? The next row, the one with the wraps all the way around, your num is your number of cases closed. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, wow, more than 200. 216 to be exact. Lieutenant nods. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force nearly two decades. Usually clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. So you're saying I used to be a super cop? Call it what you want. You were a valuable member of your precinct. Now let's look at the last row. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. So I'm a killer. From a foreign RCM officer, especially 40, Precinct 41 in the Jamar Quarter, it's rather tame. I mean that in a good way. There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. It's obvious the tenant doesn't think very highly of those officers. Have you ever killed anyone, Kim? Yes. Decline to elaborate. How do you handle the situation? Everyone has their own method of coping, some more effective and self-destructive than others. Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Like what? Oh, this and that. Let's not get into it now. Maybe I should find a hobby. Like gardening? I've already got the gloves. Thanks. Let's go. All right, I'll turn off the lights. You can now read your statistics on your journal page. Right there, Superstar Cop. Huh. Superstar Cop 3, Apocalypse Cop, sorry, Cop, Boring Cop, Communism, Fascism, Ultra Liberalism, Moralist, Honor, People Kill, Cases Solved, Years in Service. Interesting. Find Morel, the cryptozoologist. Lena wants to know what happened to Morel. Set off southwest across the canal. Let's start by going there. Prove your authority to Titus. Talk to Titus. Titus accepts authority in the Hardy Boy's eyes. Send the victim's body to processing. 
Where's the rest of the armor? Go to the Hobby, hobby Gates. Read the watermarks. Alright. Let's get to the episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.